All right, so now that we have actually created a project, we can actually go ahead and take a look at some of the cool things uh, Django did for us to create that project. So open your favorite text editor. If you don't have one, I suggest you get one, and I suggest you use Sublime Text 3. That's what I'll be using, so it'll be easier for you to follow along. But if you have a preference, feel free to use any text editor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the project in my text editor. So I'm going to open Sublime Text. And wow, that's a huge screen. Hold on. Well, I gotta go to fit my screen here so it's easier for you guys to see. And I'm gonna go up here, open uh open up the file. I got the file open, and we're gonna go to blog and then CMS. We don't need blog open because like the bin, the include, the lib, we're never really going to change anything in there. If we do, it's going to be installed by using pip, using the Python package controller. So there's no need to actually mess around with these folders. Unless you want to go in and look through the code, which I sometimes do to figure out why my code's not working, but you can do that too. But anyway, go ahead and open CMS. So I'll hit open CMS. And then over here, you'll see it opened up some files. So CMS is the uh, file when we said start uh, at the Django slash admin start project CMS. So it creates CMS and then it creates another file CMS. And inside that file it has a init.py, which all this file actually does is it's an empty file. So if we open it up, you can see it's empty. And all this does is tell us Python to treat this as a module. All right, so Python will treat it as a module, and it'll know it's it's a Python folder that contains other Python files. Basically, that's all it does. All right, uh, the next file we're going to see that create it is the settings.py file. We will be using this file quite often in our projects, so I'm not going to explain it now. In a couple of tutorials, I'll actually go through it with you guys and explain some of the neat uh, features in here, but it's just all the settings to our project. Um, so we'll look at that in a couple tutorials. Now the URLs, this is our um, URL patterns for our project. As you can see, there's one already added in here. So if we opened our project and went to admin, um, we'd actually be able to access the admin portion of our website. And all the uh, models, are, not models, uh, patterns are connected to a view. A view is how we tell Django what to display on a page. So you'll see this a lot more. If you don't understand what right now is going on, I'll explain it a lot better when we get to it. So this is our main URL file, our main URL mapping for our views. Um, WSGI file is uh, how is the file that basically handles the way we communicate our Django project with a server. And if you want to read more about uh, WYSIWYG, go ahead and um, Google it, and you can read a lot about how this all works. I'm not going to get into it now. You can actually build your own if you want. I've seen people do that too. So uh, WSGI file just handles how the server and our Python, our Django project communicate. That's all you need to know because we don't mess with this. We don't mess with this file. And we don't mess with init.py quite often, so you don't really need to worry about that unless I tell you to add some content into that. But for now, don't worry about it. And then our last file is the manage.py file. And this is probably one of the coolest files, I believe, because uh, it does, it's a command um, line interpreter, basically. Any command we put in using manage.py. Um, it executes something for us. So you'll see this in a, a lot. We'll, we'll do like um, manage.py create super user, someone who uh, can access the admin and make all these changes, or manage.py start app, which we create an app for our project. So it does a lot of things, and it's pretty cool. We don't ever mess with this either, but we do use it quite often. So you'll see this in use, but this file needs to be there. Um, so that's a basic rundown of what happens when we do the Django admin 
uh, start project and we created a project we it created the basic files for us okay so awesome all right so in the next tutorial we're gonna go ahead and create our first database and that will get us headed in the right direction I'll see you in the next tutorial